back to coding techniques again. Today we are going to work with the second episode of this particular application UI where which I'm calling it as Joker where you can do whatever you want to. All right. It's an all in one delivery application. So in this episode, we are going to design this particular design, which is of the search page. And if you haven't checked the episode one, definitely you can go back or you can check the description. Uh, the link is there for the previous video, or you can just click on the I button too. So that's how you can get to the first video. All right. So let's get started with the episode two. So as you can see out here, this is the home page that we have designed. Now I'll jump into the search page. In the search page where we already have this particular stuff, I'll go to the HTML file and start working directly. Now at first, what exactly do I need? Let me just show you. We need a search bar out here. So let's design that up instead of this iron title. We need to do that up. So I'll simply replace this iron toolbar with this particular code where I've given the color to be white and to the search bar, I have given animated to be true where you can give it in this particular manner. I think that will be better. And debounce, I've given 800 millisecond. That means whenever you type something out there, let me just show you after I get rid of this error, let's do that at first. So I'm going to type this particular one and error will go away for the time being. Let me show you what exactly I'm talking about. Basically, when you type something out here, and you leave it for 800 milliseconds, then only it will get triggered. Otherwise it will not get triggered. That is debounce. So which is very handy. Now I've given an identifier where we will work in the TypeScript one. Then I've given a placeholder, search for items and stores or whichever you want to search uh, directly. Okay. Then ion change, whenever there is a change in the text, definitely you can track this up on ion search change event that is getting triggered, which we have already created out here. So now, what exactly I'm going to do? Well, I'm going to have a query out here, okay, with which we are going to work. And for having that, I'll create a property called query, which will hold the value of it. And then I will also have some shop list, okay, which we are going to have it out here. Let's work with that. I'll go to the search page and before working with the search part, we will design everything, then we will work with that. So out here, I'm going to have some stuff. So for the designing part, I'm going to design the shops, how it's going to look like. Basically the design, which is shown in this particular one, I'll just change the icons out here because I don't want to have the same icons everywhere. That's the only thing I'm going to change. Let's go for that. Okay. So, so I'm going to use an iron list within this iron list. I'm going to have the iron item, but here I need to pass uh, lines to be none. I don't want any lines to be there. And then I'm going to have the ng4 on my iron item. All right, let me close this. Now you can check it properly. So basically I'm using an iron thumbnail, then an iron label where I'm passing the store name, then the cuisines or categories which, to which it belongs. All right, and this will be an array. So definitely I'm going to uh, transform that array into a string with, with commas, okay? Then I'm going to show the location and then on another P tag, I'm going to show the time duration, how much it's going to take to deliver the items to your place. So that's what I'm going to have. And this is the thing. I think it's easier because I have implemented a lot many times and I've achieved the same design many times. Okay. All right. So now I'll wrap it all of it in an ng container. And I'll explain you why I'm doing that. G container and I'll pass out here ng if shops question mark dot length if it is greater than zero, then only it's going to show up. Otherwise, I don't want anything to show up out here. Okay. So if there are no shops, definitely it's not going to work. That's what I'm going to give on the iron list. I'm not passing it up. Well, we can do that up, but I don't want to pass it out there because sometimes it takes some space, which I don't want. If you want, definitely you can try that up. All right. Now I'll go to the HTML, no, TypeScript part and work with this particular functionality. Otherwise, this will be an error because I need gate categories. For that, I need to have the what shops array also. So let's implement it up. Now out here, at first I'm going to initialize the all shops array because all shops array will hold all the shops 
because you can call it from the server in real time but out here well i'm just uh, creating some static data that is why i'm creating in all shops and the shops array will have the value based on your query so that's what i'm going to do and now i'm going to work with the remaining functions which is this particular three functions which i'm going to use well the first one is the on search change where I'm going to get the query and transform it into a lowercase one and redirect it to the search query search function where I'm going to look for this length if it is greater than zero definitely I'm going to go ahead and check for the lowercase name whether it is matching with any of those in all shops one array one and pass it in the shops one and before that I'm just initializing or declaring the shops array to be empty now in the shops array what exactly do we have i have the id name categories as an array okay then the location is being passed and finally the delivery time is being passed so this is the things that we have and which we are uh, the categories we are dividing it into a join string with a comma in this particular manner so once we do that up let's check this out whether it works or not basically you won't see anything out here until we type something so if i type something out here let's say uh, if i'm typing c you can see crimson valley life pharmacy is coming up because m is present in the name and the third one is i think different one let me give m so i'll have three one is monsoon mills there was no c out there that is why it's not coming up so that's how you can filter it up and the designing part well we can do something with this in the designing section but i want some other fill out here too which will be the image img okay in image one i'm going to pass well for the restaurant say like this uh, the first one and the second one are the restaurant right and the third one is basically the pharmacy or medicine one so i'm going to have the image that will be med2.jpg and for the restaurant one what have i used in the home page let's check it out for the restaurant one shop2.jpg this is the one i'm using i'll pass the same one and let me just check the medicine one med2.jpg correct all right I'll simply pass it copy it up and paste it out here too so our image is ready now we just need to pass it out here that's the only thing we need to do so i'll make it dynamic out here well in order to make it dynamic i can simply go for in this particular manner okay and there are two ways i'm just implementing one of those i'll use store question mark dot img now you will see m there we go you can see the nice icons which are present based on the things that you are using okay so i think this is perfect okay and uh, the next thing which i need to work with is the designing part in the scss let's check it out do we need to do anything well uh, nothing much actually but if i look it out here the search bar is not looking that nice so for the ios one i will change it up only for the ios so in order to change for the ios i've just pasted this code so dot ios needs to be used at the very top okay otherwise it will not be implemented and within that i am using the iron search bar class where i am passing margin dot to be one rem that's how you can see the margin is there and on the android you won't see any difference let me just show you so on the android you don't see any margin top okay and the design is different it's looking nice that is why i have done it for the iphone and the next thing well let me just check it again m all right so out here also we can play around some designing say like for this i can i need, i can align it up and the sizes of it well we can change it a little bit let's work with that so we are going to work with the iron content let me paste some thing out here all right for the iron content i'm going to work with the iron list where in the iron item i'm first going to pass the letter spacing to be 0.5 because i want some spacing in between that looks nice actually that's why i'm passing that up and for the thumbnail well i'm making it a large little bit because it was quite small not pretty much visible so i made it visible by giving a height and width of 12 vh you can change it as per your requirement then with the iron label i'm working with the font size and font weight based on my requirement so one rem is fine for the font size then for the iron text which is present where it is within the iron label this is the one okay 
where I am passing margin bottom to be 0 0.3 VH, which is this particular margin, okay, just because we can have some spacing from the title or the name one and the other parts, okay. Then the next comes the P tag, which is this particular one, the cuisines one or the category ones, where I'm passing padding top to be 0 0.1 VH, little bit to each and every P tag, okay, because everywhere I'm using the P tag out here, which you can see, right, P tag, then another P tag for the location. And finally, for the duration, also there is a P tag, okay. So that is what it's being done. Then the font weight 450 I've given, which is looking nice. Then the font size, I've reduced it. Then the color also, I've just turned it to gray color. And for the icon, well, I have aligned it vertically at the middle part and given a font size of 1.8 VH. That was looking pretty nice. If you want to change it, definitely you can work around with this particular one. All right, so with this, our search page design is successfully done, right? And it is working pretty nicely, which you can see, okay? So I don't think anything else is left in this particular design. There we go. So this is the design that we need to build and this is how we can search a query and you can uh, pass this particular one in your for, uh, backend also if you're using some in real time in your server, okay? Uh, so this is how you need to work with this. So this is it for this particular lecture. I hope you enjoyed this particular video and this is the episode two. Let me know in the comment section how you feel like. If you haven't checked my uh, courses on Udemy, definitely do check it out. The links are there in the description. There are limited period offer that are going on. Do check that out, okay? So with that being said, I'll wrap up this video out here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video pretty soon.